Right, today we're going to strip it right down to the basics. This video is going to be great if you are a more experienced business owner that's quite new to the whole digital marketing landscape, but this video is also going to be useful for those of you that are well equipped with things like social media and SEO and meta ads, Google ads and content marketing, but just want to make sure that you're doing things in the right way or the way that's going to produce because right way is a very vague term, the way that is going to produce business based results because that at the end of the day is what sales and marketing is all about or in this example marketing and sales marketing is what makes sales easier so we have to be able to look at how the two connect and recognize that the journey of a prospect through to a customer or even a stranger through to a customer does involve a handover between marketing and sales first of all the first thing that we are trying to achieve in any kind of marketing campaign is attention. And that is what the A stands for. A stands for attention. Attention is usually achieved through content, through placement, by having uh, a combination of words and images or videos in a certain place on the internet that people can view through their phones, tablets, or um, their computers attention's the first thing and we're all fighting for attention we're all fighting for the attention of the market and the more market attention that we have the more people that you become front of mind for for your product or service the more chance you have of achieving the second phase which is the t word which stands for traffic now traffic is the movement of attention from point A to point B. In a digital landscape, traffic is being able to take the attention of a human being and bring them to your website, to your inbox, to your email, to your phone, so that they then become someone who makes a footprint on your either digital or physical shop floor. That is what we are looking to achieve with traffic, bringing attention and moving it somewhere. Once we're able to move that traffic to our digital or physical shop front, if we then have the right messaging, the right sales strategy starting to emerge, we can facilitate the next part of the journey, which is the C word, not that C word, and that is conversion. A conversion can of course be a transaction, converting someone from not being a customer to being a customer, but it can also be data capture. So it might not necessarily mean that a sale happens here. For example, someone could come as attention and move via traffic to your website and then fill in a form or a uh, fill in a box of information box. And then that can be classed as a conversion because it is a lead capture. Conversions either are the start of the sales process or they are the sales process, depending on how the sales process looks. You're either going to receive money, time, information. One of those things is going to be received as a conversion, and that's very important. And it's important to track your conversion rates as you progress along your sales journey. Now, a lot of the time, businesses stop there. We've taken a prospect or a stranger, we've got their attention, brought them to where we want them, and then we've achieved a conversion. Well done everybody, big high five. That looks good for our sales or conversion figures, on we go. But you're missing a trick and you're leaving a lot of valuable money and energy on the table if you are forgetting and neglecting what happens next, which is two R's. We have R&R, &R, not rest and recovery. We have repeat. repeat business that same person comes back again either for more of the same or something else that they now need because one solution always brings a new problem so it might be that your sales journey incorporates that and has repeat opportunities for transactions or conversions to happen again and again and again but it can also the second r bring Referral business. Referral business happens when a customer says to someone else, 
I know who you need, I know what you need, I know exactly where you need to go or where you should go to go and get that problem solved. And this person creates new traffic and you don't have to fight for the attention. It takes away the attention phase when you have referral business coming your way and they come straight in here as traffic, literally handheld by a trusted person in their life, but handheld by a customer of yours. And the best people to uh, nurture and to build relationships with are people who have already made a transaction or conversion with you. People in this section here, and that is what so many businesses forget because they're missing out on repeat business. You've bought from us once, you probably buy from us again. But you're also missing out on referral opportunities because you're too focused perhaps on the attention, putting out content to try and get more followers and more likes and everything else that comes with that or you're more focused on the conversion, which is just hitting those sales targets. Life will be a lot easier for all of this if you spend more time and energy and more marketing power and more thoughtful sales process energy around repeat and referred business. So this is one thing that I always do uh, when I'm sat down uh, at board table level with a business owner and we're discussing how this whole digital marketing thing works. And quite often when I spell this out for my clients in this case, they will know that there are some real strong moves that we can make together to achieve some low hanging fruit and really increase the amount of revenue that is generated through marketing and sales. There are so many things that you can do but it's about figuring out what the best moves are, and most importantly, the one that you need to do first before everything else. And that's the sort of thing that I can help you with as part of my role at Tide55, where we offer marketing done for you services, but we also offer business development services too. And that's what this falls under. Any questions about any of that, please do reach out. If you're watching these videos and you've watched more than one of these now, then I would love it if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you're probably gonna watch another one. And if you do, I'd love you to know when that video comes out by hitting the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I'd love to know what you think about this. Until I see you again, take care and keep on focusing on your customers. See you soon.